Hello there once again. Well this time we've got these brand new latest model sets and this time it's the Cobra 29 LX EU and that's the current model. I know there's one on the American market which is going to have a different innards but it um, looks the same on the outside. Now, this is one of these made in China sets. Some of the latest sets don't have any transmitter adjustments and very few receiver adjustments, but this is not like that. It's pretty conventional in the adjustments it has. We've got no service manual, it's all guesswork. I presume the VCO is there. We don't know what the setup procedure is, so we'll leave well alone. That looks like a power input choke to remove interference. That looks like modulation transform for AM. This is a multi-set. So in this country it will be um, available to us on um, UK frequencies and CPT frequencies at 4 watts. Disappointingly there's a relay there. I was hoping we were going to get rid of relays 20 odd years ago but that's not the case. You've got crystal filters, ceramic filter, microprocessor there, the reference crystal there and its adjustment and I presume the transmitter lineup is those adjustments through those cans. So what we will do is see whether we can make any of those adjustments. As these come out of the box, they came out, this one came out with 0 0.7 kilohertz deviation instead of the 2.2 to 2.5 that you're supposed to have. So it was as quiet as the mouse, but that's soon adjusted with the correct equipment. Now then, what we'll just do is put it into transmit and we'll see whether these are the adjustments for the power. It is doing 4 watts. I can't tell you the um, numbers of the coils because uh, again I haven't got the manual and they're not all labelled. Well, I can't see that's made any difference. can't see that's made any difference. There's an annoying ticking sound. Can you hear this? I'll just not make any noise. When I go into transmit, I've got the extension speaker plugged in. That would annoy me something chronic. I presume they are the transmit controls. I haven't seen them make any any just difference on here. I may be barking up the wrong tree, but we'll soon find out when we move over to receive. Uh, what we'll, we'll just do is the transmit power adjustment for the for the here is is there, which is RV number four. So, and that has adjusted to the full four watts. Whilst we've got 4 watts, we'll just check that the RF meter on the front is showing 4 watts. It is actually spot on. If it wasn't spot on, the adjustment for that is there, which is RV2. So the one in that corner is RV2. Now deviation, I've adjusted this earlier. Because we did do some test without doing a major tune up with the oscillator on that's now what it should be I'll just do a quick whistle test <whistles> yes that's spot on have you ever seen a microphone like that I presume it looks like a cobra with its mouth open if we needed to adjust the, adjust the deviations we have done earlier, it's RV1, which is a deviation, and that's set for between 2.2 .2 and 2.5 kilohertz using a deviation meter. Now I'm going to set the transmit frequency. Do a short video of this because I'm actually proved there's any of these coils are the right ones. RV um, TC1. 
and we'll just zoom in on that. Okay, got your CT one. It's the reference oscillators frequency trimmer. It's just slightly off frequency, it's slightly low. 2779121, sorry. We should be 2779125. Just pull that up. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to do some other little checks before I conclude this transmit part of the video. Yes, there are two more things I was going to mention. First of all, in the AM mode, the automatic modulation control for AM is there. I'm not going to touch that because we don't use AM in the UK, or well, certainly not at present, and certainly not on one of these. And this is the antenna um, warning adjustment. And what I've done is to back it off all the way and then when you go forwards with it eventually you get, although we're going through a test set and it's got a dummy load and so the SWR is absolutely one to one eventually you get to the stage where antenna alarm comes up antenna warning alarm and that flashes the front panel so what I've done is to go forwards with that adjustment till that happens and then back it off slightly then it doesn't the alarm doesn't get activated and just for a fraction of a second I did just unplug the aerial and it goes straight into alarm mode. So that is how that is set. So it's uh, set on the dummy load to um, to not operate uh, just at the threshold. It's a bit like a squelch control really on that. So that's it. There's nothing really more I can tell you. It looks to me like it's those three adjustments there. I didn't make that much uh, difference with them. It's doing four watts. And uh, there you have it. It's the uh, Cobra 29 LXEU. And um, it's certainly doing four watts. And performing all right so far so good so we're now doing another video on the receive side